The word of God says when the devil, Satan, that old serpent, when he comes in like a flood, God's going to lift up a banner against him. What do you think that standard is that he's going to lift up? A standard, a banner, an ensign, a sign. Wow. Check it out, saints. Webster's Dictionary defines a banner, uh-huh, a standard, a banner, a flag, an ensign, a sign. Webster's Dictionary, a flag of a country, an army, a troop, an ensign bearing a motto or a slogan. Anything displayed as a symbol of principle. If you're going to display the cross, then you should have some principles. You, sh you can't just live any old way you want to and wear a cross. Well, you can because most folks it's jewelry anyhow. But if you think about it, saints, the cross is a symbol of death. Mm-hmm. The people don't want to think about that. They want to think of it as life. But Jesus died on the cross for your sins and my sins. He lived a perfect, sinless life. He never sinned. He died on the cross. The cross is therefore a symbol, an ensign, a sign of death. Because he didn't get raised back to life until he went into the tomb. Now the tomb and the resurrection power of the Holy Spirit... Now that's a symbol of life, the Holy Ghost. Jesus died on the cross, and if you accept what he did on that cross, which was shed his blood for you, if you accept that and realize he's the Son of God, he's the Son of the Most High God, Yahuwah, mm, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he was a man that died on a cross, fully God, fully man, understand that. But he's coming back, saints, as the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Let me explain this to you. It's real simple. When you lift up a flag, an ensign, mm, a banner, you wear something on your body, it's a symbol or a principle. It's a symbol of a principle. It's a headline in large, bold, conspicuous. Woo, here I am. It ain't about you saying, look at me, look at me. It's about you saying, woo, woo, woo. Woo, look at who did this. Look at the line of the tribe of Judah. He's coming back as the judge. He died on the cross for my sins. And he made everything, everything, every spirit, every man, woman, child. I don't care if it's a dog, a cat, or a cockroach. He made it all. He redeemed us from the curse of the law. He hung on that cross, which is a symbol of death. Mm -hmm. Come on, get it right, saints. And he lives. Woo, he lives. Not that I can toot Leslie's horn. Sister with a testimony is going to point to the Lord God Almighty, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And I'm telling you, saints, he's coming back as the lion of the tribe of Judah. And when you lift up your banner, your flag, your ensign, your sign, it's a standard. When the enemy comes in like a flood, God lifts up a standard against him, a banner, a flag, a sail, a signal, a sign. Look in your Strong's Concordance, saints. When I, when I put a flag in my hand, when I put a staff in my hand, when I put a tambourine in my hand, I don't care what it is. Give me something to put in my hand. I'm going to worship the Lord with it. And if I ain't got nothing in my hands, I'm going to lift them up and say, Glory, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. If you ain't got nothing in your hands, you got everything because you got salvation through the Lamb who was slain upon the cross. Get up from the foot of the cross. Get on it. Die to yourself. Go to the tomb for three days and three nights and completely get rid of self, die, go to the desert, do whatever you got to do to get rid of self, let it be completely dead. So when the Holy Spirit says, come forth, Lazarus, woo-hoo, ah, you come forth by the resurrection power of the Holy Spirit, just like Yeshua Hamashiach, and he rules and reigns from his place, seated in heavenly places at the right hand of the Father. He said, it is finished. Ha <laughs> ha. He gave up the ghost on the cross. I'm preaching to the choir. Saints, he's coming back as the lion of the 
tribe of Judah. He ain't a man on a cross. He ain't a baby in a manger. He's coming back as the judge. And you either going to know him as your savior, your Lord, and your master, or you're going to know him as your judge. Now, t let me tell you about this face-to-face. Face-to-face. You want revival? Then you, you need to get on your face. Your face. Get off your butt. Get out of the pew and worship in spirit and in truth. And if you're offended, that is not my problem because that's the truth. I love you. I'm not trying to offend you. If you want revival, get off your butt. Get on your knees. Get on your face. Get somewhere and repent and call out to the lion of the tribe of Judah who is Yeshua Hamashiach. Woo! And start worshiping him in spirit and truth. If he did something for you, saints, you get up and tell somebody about it. But if he ain't done nothing for you and you still ain't met him, you just going through the motions. Let me tell you something, saints. When you get the glory and the power and the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, mm, you can't help but tell somebody what he did for you. But saints, let me explain something to you. Revelation 7 9 through 14, after this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude which no man could number, of all nations, all kindreds, people, and tongues, stood before the throne, oh, before the Lamb of God. Yes, they were clothed with white robes and palms. That's representations of victory and peace in their hands, saints. If you got victory and peace, it's because you got the Lord God Almighty. He, mm, he come out of heaven. He stepped out of time. He lived a sinless life, and he hung on a cross. He hung on a cross for you and me. He went into the tomb for three days and three nights for you and me. He went to hell and he preached to them. And he led captivity captive. And let me tell you what. He, wah, wah. After three days and three nights, the, the grave couldn't hold him. Hell couldn't keep him bound. They couldn't do nothing to him because he went and set woo, the fr captives free. He led captivity captive. And when he come up, let me tell you what, saints, all them folk come with him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Over 500 brethren at one time, eyewitnesses to seeing Jesus resurrected and fully mm -hmm, alive. I don't know about you, but I'm a witness because I was dead and now I'm alive. I've been revived. You want revival? Maybe you need to pick up your banner and start telling people Jesus did something for me. Okay? That means you got to get off your rear and you got to get up and move. Well, I just don't worship that way. Well, okay, that's the way they do it in heaven. I don't know how you're going to do it, but that's the way they're going to do it. Mm-hmm. And if you mirror heaven, you're going to get up and you're going to move. When John had this vision, he foresaw the masses uh -huh, standing within the manifest presence of Yahuwah, celebrating and waving palms, banners, flags, flags. Uh-huh, look, flags. Oh, well, we don't worship that way here. That might make some folks uncomfortable. Let me explain something to you, saints. If you're uncomfortable worshiping the way that they do it in heaven, well, that leaves me speechless. Do I need to say it? If they did it in, it, if they do it in heaven, they they go they do, they're doing it now. They always have and they always will. Don't you think maybe you need to get on the same bandwagon? Uh, this ain't just me talking. This is, it's in the scripture. The manifest presence of God celebrating banners, flags, signs of victory and peace. Before the throne of the living Yahuwah. Woohoo! Living! He ain't dead! Saints! He died on the cross. But he's resurrected by the Holy Spirit. He lives. And you live and move and have your being through him. Massive numbers of believers before the throne of God clothed in white garments with palms in their hands. Mm. Come on, saints. White represents purity and selflessness. You want revival? 
Yahuwah, Father God, give us a greater and more profound, profound vision of yourself. A profound vision of yourself. Allow your people to come into a more profound, profound woo, experience within the depths of your manifest presence, Father God. We need to see the Lord face to face. We need to see the Lord face to face. Hallelujah. Woo! He's coming back as the lion of the tribe of Judah. If you know him, then you know that that lion, that lion represents kingship, royalty, courage, boldness. Mm. Oh yeah, and just so you know, that could be good people or evil people. Boldness. Mm -hmm. Because the Word of God always also says that your adversary, the devil, roams about as a roaring lion. Ow, fly, seeking whom he may devour. Yeah, fly, horse fly trying to mm, devour me in the name of Jesus. You ain't getting none of my holy blood. Hey, if that fly bites me, he's going he's gonna to fly away singing there's power in the blood power in the blood Woo, yeah still hurts saints the symbol of the line of the tribe of judah the single symbol of kingship royalty courage boldness Woo! revelation chapter 5 5 first peter 5 8 judges 14 18 first samuel 1 23 genesis 49 9 Numbers 24 9, 2 Samuel 17 10, Proverbs 28 1, Hosea 5 14, and Hosea 13 8. The lion. And it could be good or bad, but saints, I'm talking about the lion of the tribe of Judah today. 